imagine what it must have been like for workers at the Social Security Administration's East Side Tower when their office windows suddenly shattered as high winds ripped roofing materials and a satellite dish off the building, sending the debris crashing to a courtyard below. It was like kind of like a whipping, whirling effect that we were seeing outside. Employees were told to shelter in place. One worker was injured and taken to nearby St. Agnes Hospital by ambulance. Workers in another building saw tree branches crash down on cars. We work on the eighth floor. The trees were just blowing in the wind. Across the Baltimore region, numerous trees snapped in the wind, some bringing down power lines. BGE reports more than 37,000 customers lost power, with the majority in Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County, and the city. In Howard County, a few small structures at the Days End Farm Horse Rescue were damaged. The winds strong enough to flip heavy horse trailers. Sky Team 11 was also over this downed tree that fell across the Jones Falls Expressway near Northern Parkway. Winds faster than a car speeding down the highway left commuters stalled in traffic. The fire department had a structural engineer out here on the scene um, late this afternoon and right now the uh, building is still taped off. People do not appear to be going in and out of there right now. Does not look like there's any cleanup efforts underway this late in the evening. It's unclear if this side of the campus will reopen tomorrow. Employees that work in the affected building are urged to call and check in the morning. Live at Woodlawn tonight, Adam May, WBAL-TV 11 News.